Welcome back. Here we are with some more Historic Anthologies 4. Um, so what we have here is a Mardu uh, Black White Red Vehicles list. Um, kind of an innocuous card that was printed out is Thraben Inspector. Uh, during uh, its time in Standard, this was a really effective card uh, for a lot of the weenie strategies. It's a one mana one two, but it gives you a artifact token that allows you to investigate. Uh, investigate is basically like a clue. Two mana, you get to draw a card. Um, so what we have here is a vehicle shell. It's kind of a mid-rangey, um, can pivot to control if need be, but um, you have like Thraben that makes artifacts, tool craft exemplar becomes a uh, 3-2 on combat uh, with uh, if you have an artifact. And then what you have is a bunch of vehicles like Heart of Kirin, which could be crewed off either three power or by removing a, a loyalty counter off one of your planeswalkers. Uh, Aether Sphere Harvester uh, can get you lifelink, but it's it's a big body. It's a three five for one crew, which is a relatively low cost to crew. Um, and then you have the big mothership, Sky Sovereign Council flagship. Uh, this. Uh, Lightning bolts something when it comes into play. Uh, creature or planeswalker, whenever it attacks, it also does it. And it's a crew three. Um, and then we're kind of filling it out. Uh, you'll notice like a lot of crew three. So Scrap Heap Scrounger is a cheap recursive way to uh, for us to crew our vehicles um, at three power. We also have Bone Crusher as both removal and a way to fly these ships. Um, and then with Heart of Kirin, we have Gideon and Chandra, um, which are both ways Gideon itself becomes a creature. So you can crew if you want. Uh, you can give your things lifelink um, and then with Heart of Kirin, it's a pretty nice combination to just plus it and then allow you to have that creature. Same with Chandra, gives you card advantage, ramp, a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, one card that came out in the new set, uh, Kaldheim, is Showdown of the Scalds. So it's a nice little card advantage engine for this deck. Uh, so this is something I want to try out. And a couple glory bangers on the top end. Um, I wonder, like, so we have Glorybringer, which is just removal. I think this is better than um, Goldspan Dragon in this particular list, just more removal. Um, the cool interaction, actually, that came up when I was testing this, uh, you can give it Vigilance with Gideon, and then you can exert. With the Vigilance, it doesn't tap, so then every turn you can deal four damage with it. Uh, the mana base is a collection of duels uh, pathways all that and then we also can play spire of industry in the deck uh, pay a life and it can add any color as long as you control an artifact our artifact count is at 10 so a sixth of our deck is artifacts uh, the sideboard is it a collection of things that are useful in the format thought seas and rest in peace as hate cards and hand disruption uh, a bunch of removal and heartless act noxious grasp a braid uh, some Valkyries, uh, if we want to scale up and go a little bit more controlly, card advantage, and then Extinction Event as a sweeper. At Extinction Event, we can target particular things and try to get around that. Hmm. The only thing is with Extinction Event, this becomes a creature regardless. Uh, so Extinction Event actually might not be that great. Uh, similarly with, I think we might just want Clarion. Let's do Clarion. Or we can do, or maybe instead of Clarion, we do, what's it called? Um, Crippling Fear. Crippling Fear. Sometimes with these deck techs, you talk it through. So Crippling Fear, notably, uh, this is a dwarf. Um, so we can just like name something like random, like Assembly Worker or one of our creatures and be fine. Currently at 209 on the Mythic Ladder. So let's play a couple games. See how it goes. As always, if you do enjoy the content, you're catching this on YouTube as part of a VOD. If you can, drop a like, comment, and subscribe. And if you do want to know when we go live on Twitch, as always, uh, you can follow, join in the chat. It's always a fun time there. Pistachio Knight, just on cue. Thank you for the follow. How's it going? We will keep this hand. So I'm gonna lead on Toolcraft because I can Thraben the following turn or Heart of Kirin.
wish one of these was a dual land as opposed to the f pathways, just because now I need to decide which of these is more relevant. Well, we answered our question. So here I'm going to go play this. Kill that. So the thing is, against angels, crippling fear really doesn't do much. I appreciate, nonetheless. Not hitting a land there sucks. So I'm leading on Hardik here in here. I can crew it with the Scrap Heap Scrounger next turn. And just being a flyer will help. Uh, okay. Pretty low quality. Come on. So what you can do is wait to combat crew here. Attack for four, and then this way I can use this defensively. So it's a nice little kind of two-prong attack here. They're down to eight, but literally they gain eight life. So they're gaining 10 life this turn. Oops. <laughs> Okay, so if we can hit a removal spell, okay, bench, that's actually pretty good. Um, so I have a couple options here. I think we're taking the angel out of play. So I'm doing this because they can quad block. Um, I can also Aether Sphere Harvester, which gives me another attacker in the air. I mean, we're kind of dead just to like any. We missed Lion for two turns, which hurt. This is a blatant. So we're doing this just because this is only a three power on our turn. Whatever could the opponent have? Settle the wreckage. Was not expecting settle. Well, we only play one basic, so that sucks. I think we're just gonna stomp here. I think we're dead here. We missed too many lines. Doing this before they can get like another angel. Just not enough there. Uh, Noxious Grass, Heartless Act. Crippling Fear doesn't do much here. The Abrades are fine. Valkyries. Um, Fatal Push can be fine. Harvesters, okay here. Bone Crusher is pretty bad, to be honest. What does a Braid do? Yeah, a Braid dealing three over two is better. 
Chandra dealing four is fine. Probably trim a Gideon. Trim. Showdown. I guess showdown's fine, especially on the play. We have enough creatures to crew, but I think we're still okay. Just kind of overwhelming. I need to go back to extinction event, I think. Despite hitting, uh, like, angels just being for toughness. This deck should be running 24. Yeah, 24 lands. We curve out at 5, which I think is fine because we have a number of lower drops in the deck. I think here, we do the heart, and then no removal kind of sucks. Needed like a fatal push there. Would have been a really good turn. I have Chandra. I guess I also have um, Showdown. Okay, so I got Noxious Grasp. I have Chandra. So I can plus with Chandra, activate the Heart of Kirin. I think I like that. Because then that gives me more mana with the Skulls. Uh, Would have really liked that. Use Chandra's ability. And then I can do this twice. I think they should have taken the Heart of Kirin, to be honest. They would have been a pretty good job of just blocking the Scrap Heap Scrounger. Okay, so they kind of bored out of the whole Angel Plane. So Crippling Fear might not be too bad. Post board, something to consider. Um, so my options here, I can set up a Scalds, which I actually don't think I mind. Little Scalds here, get some value. Um... Do this, do this. So I can set up next turn. They can try to kill my Chandra. I think that's fine. Because then I just Scalds again. That's going to get Noxious Grass. It's very hard. Ah. We get hit really hard here. Um, I think we're just letting this go through. Chandra's gonna die anyways, so not a huge amount of utility there. Fatal push as well. Um, so let's do this. Hmm. Just kill this. Start beefing this up. 
take some off that. These scalds have uh, been really helpful because now I can hard a Kirin or sky ship out something else. Jesus. Am I dead? Problem is like, anything I do against this deck, they're just gaining so much value. Doesn't even matter. Okay, we need to fix our sideboard. If Angels is prevalent enough, I need to become more of a control deck. Our only losses today are against Angels, which shouldn't be that much of an issue, but like, we're trying to win through combat damage, and their combat damage is just a lot more significant than ours. Um, I think we trim on a Thought Seize, go two Noxious Grasps, to Extinction Event. Noxious Grasps reasonable against the blue-white control matchups as well. Kind of wondering, because we don't have a lot of ways to enable Revolt. Wondering if we play one Heartless main as well. Or let's play Val one Valky main. The thing I like about Glorybringer is it can it serves as damage as well. Actually, yeah, settle the wreckage. Very good call. Maybe we try a split there, um, like gold span and that. I don't think we want this. Let's play a gold span. We'll play one out now just to try it out, see how it goes. Um, so rest in peace for graveyard. Still have the thought sees. Have the Valky. Probably just play another. I probably don't want that many thoughts these. Yeah, the Linvala is an issue because they protect against it. That game, like the other game we played, it was the Bant version. This looked like it was just straight green white. Um, can also maybe play one of a. Th cut this, play Authority of the Consoles. Decent against Cat Oven. And I think we just want like overload on Heartless Axe just to be able to deal with stuff. Okay. Let's queue it up. Part two. Let's see if we do the same as the, uh, the cycling match. Avoid angels first, get obliterated. Yeah, I think Heartless is decent. Like the Fatal Push, we don't have a lot of Revolt enablers, and you kind of want to keep that token around. Kind of dope. And the nice thing here is I can shock this in if I don't need to stomp. I can just draw a card. Glass Pool Mimic. So they're on Neo Storm, so I want to keep this for the turn they try to pop off with. Oh, uh, you know what? I'm an idiot. I don't have Graft Digger's Cage in the side, do I? That's a clear omission. Give this lifelink. Mm, 
need to uh, put the cage in. Yeah, Angels again. Just looks like the Bant version. Just a weird opening draw. I need to put Graft Digger's Cage on the side. Always play Graft Digger's Cage. Like in the matchups, we would just take out the Scrap Heap Scroungers. I think our board plan's a lot better now, though. Um, here. See if we can get them to mess up. So I can stomp this and then draw a card. I think we do that. Because they do need to attack here. Otherwise, I can just exile Valkyrie. Coco is online, potentially. This is the problem. Like we got them to eight, but now they're just gonna gain like so much life. And they found the answer. I think we're just gonna go post board. Heart's interesting. Okay, well we got push as well. Um, make it seem like we have Ember Cleave. Ah, uh, so they didn't fall for my tricks. Do we dig for Chandra here? It's probably the call. I think we're uh, pretty dead in this one. Everybody's on angels today. This deck might just be too slow. Because they're gaining two times toughness on every angel coming into play. We have like another Coco, it's pretty bad. Let's see what they come up with. Let's see, yeah. They gain six life. Okay, now we're dead. I can't get through that many angels. Okay, so. Settles in, abrades in, grasps, axe. Probably cut gold span. Valky's fine, just kind of become control. Probably gonna cut Thraben, it just doesn't do enough. Turn the Bone Crushers. Thanks, Preston. Have a good one. Um, I think we're just running it like this. See how this configuration goes. These Angels decks are going to be a pain. I think we might have to switch back to Hollow One. We'll give this, uh, see how this match goes, and then switch over. Actually, there's the Jun deck too. We can play that one. That one's pretty sick. Okay, 
Well, we got our one of basic. need a way to crew this up see what we can pull out here well the encouraging thing is their hands slow as well try to save the settle for their big turn Kill everything. I think we're just doing this, trying to get some card advantage going. Yikes. Huge amount of lands. Well, that's something good to get out of the way. We'll get a 2-2, two, two. just past the turn. That was a lot of lands. Got through nine lands already. Got this Heartless Act. Declaration in Stone. I think we're just going to take the card draw this turn. Or just be mana efficient. Well, we've drawn what appears to be every land in our deck. We might have diluted too much. Looks like Coco. <laughs> All right, what do you got, opponent? No Coco? Can, can you stop exiling my artifacts? I guess it's better that than like Chandra or Gideon. All right, this one one is going to get us there. Uh, Chandra. I should have actually attacked there because then make it seem like I have revolt. Like they're playing around settle, which we never showed. And we're on a brew. Let me see how they play around. So Revolt has been activated. So we'll do this. Oh yeah, we are casting everything. It's actually not bad. What are the chances they play around two settles?
Hey Rumpty, how's it going? Yeah, we. I'm surprised they're playing around. Like this is a brew, and they're playing around settle, where we didn't show it at all. We've also drawn nothing but lands. We've drawn half the lands in our deck. Yeah, it could be the case. We're just not drawing anything in this matchup. I think we're going to go back to this cycling deck after this. Outside of Angels, it was pretty good. Can take one more hit here. I would really like Wrath of God. And I think maybe then Wrath. Okay, whatever. We've drawn nothing but lands, huge tracks of lands. 